All right, and welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and also on YouTube if you're watching this video later on over there for another edition of Grixis Discard. This is our probably our most, our most competitive brew that we play. As y'all know, if you've been watching the videos, um, one of our one of the best hitting videos on YouTube that I usually have too. Um, so it doesn't need too much of an inter introduction. Basically, what we're trying to do here is we have a really, really hard control deck where we're just trying to grind our opponent down uh, especially with disinformation campaign, um, making our opponent discard cards and uh, us draw cards and, you know, just kind of really just whittle their resources down. So between the Thought Erasure, the campaigns, the, the Nickel Boluses, the Angraths, just trying to get all of their resources out of there. So we've been streaming for a while here today with our 12 hour stream. I think let's go ahead and just get to the games. Don't think there's a too much to just describe about the deck, um, as you may you've probably seen this deck before in some of the other videos. So let's get going. Let's see how well we can do here tonight with some Grixis discard. Go 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 go. All right, what do we got for our first match? Okay. Let's keep. How many views did you have when you first started, like in your first week or month? Are you talking about on on YouTube or Twitch? I don't have a dress, do I? No, okay. I can't see the last couple cards in my hand because Hawkeye's sitting there blocking them. Which I'm not saying is a bad thing. So this is a little awkward. I do want to... This is a little awkward. Like, I want to save Coil for Rekindling Phoenix in this matchup. So I guess I'm just going to Thought Erasure first. It is awkward how... Oh, I need that. With, with me not killing the Growth Chamber Guardians, they get more Growth Chamber Guardians. Twitch. I was already... Fairly well known whenever I started streaming Twitch on Twitch. I think my very first stream had a couple hundred viewers back in like 2016. Um, yeah, so I guess I'm just going to campaign and ritual these things away. So I didn't really have like the like the tough startup that it is on Twitch. All right, ritual those away. So we're at 12. And we got double lava coil and bolus. This game is definitely looking good for us. I'd like to draw a land. I'd like to be able to campaign plus coil, but... Alright, so we're going to just duress coil. No, maybe let's coil Ascanta. It's not that likely that duress actually hits anything. Let's get Ascanta in play. I would like to go duress Bolas. I do want like the duress to maybe protect Bolas. That's his like main job. All right, please don't draw another Phoenix. Phoenix is like the one card I don't want to see. Okay, well, that's an impatient opponent. I didn't have like anything out that could win the game at all or anything. So. I don't want the duress, but none of these cards are really that good. Hey, thanks, Jeff. Getting the rest of the bits out there. Thank you so much for those 30 bits. I really do appreciate that. 
the yeah, the rest of these cards like aren't aren't great. Um, guess I'm gonna play a moment. Yeah, I'll just play a moment. No, definitely do not want thief. Thief is just way too slow. Um, their creatures are bigger. Basically, Ritual of Soot is a really good card for us. Any Anytime I have Ritual of Soot as a good card, Thief is not going to be a good card. Basically, all the decks that Ritual of Soot are, is good against, Thief is not good against. If, like, if Ritual of Soot's not a good card, then that's when Thief's a good card. It's the problem with moment craving, craving and cry of the carnarium. Our their creatures are big. Um, do I want to do this next turn or play another discovery and look for something else? I just want to play another discovery. Look for ritual of soot. Ritual of soot's going to be really important. I don't think I. Without having Soot in hand, I don't think I can take that turn off for campaigning. Basically, all the control decks are where Thief, Thief comes in against control. Oh. Frenzy's really nice. Frenzy's like, ignore. You know, I'm trying to make them discard their hands, but it doesn't matter if I make them discard their hand when they have a Frenzy in play. A Cinder Vines? Hmm. Both of those things deal three damage, but if they have a, a removal spell. I don't want to block that. I, w I want to uh, block the thing where uh, it's not like first strike kills it. Cinder vines, huh? Yeah, can you can you move, Hawkeye? I'm sorry. I need to be able to see the screen, see my see my cards. So if I play Angrath, I'm going down to six. But I think that's okay. Ever seen water burn? You will. Your crew for my freedom? <laughs> A fair price. Okay. All right, so we can Coil and Contempt. There are two things, and then attack for four. No fire. We no do need to start attacking. Because we're not, we're not going to win a super late game with them having... Cindervine's frenzy in play. Gonna have to pressure him. I could wait on the contempt and see if they get like a haste creature that's better to target with. 
the contempt. No fire, no steel. I am not casting a Discovery to lose two life. Nickel Bulls cannot deal damage to players, the flipped part. It deals 10 damage to creatures or Planeswalkers. It would be really good if we could just spend 7 mana and deal 10 to them, but it can't do that. Alright, Ice Up Sun. Have a good night. No, the Harpooner! Uh, we are just, you know, we, next turn, you know, we could attack him for four and take up Angrath. Ah, uh, they found that Harpooner. Um, let's make him discard, play another Angr, no play another uh, bolus. I mean. No steel. They have to find something off the top, remember, because they don't get to play their cards from hand. Okay. Well, that's unfortunate. We get to hit them down to one life. Oh, wow, they didn't attack Angrath? Huh. Hmm. Your crew for my freedom? <laughs> A fair price. Please, no haste creature. Double haste creature. And all these harpooners. And we're so close to killing them. We you have to spend green mana to adapt guardian. We did not have green mana. Yeah, that just kind of shows, like, the power of Frenzy. Hopefully they don't have, like, Frenzy like that again. Alright, let's try again. Yeah, Cinder Vines is definitely a little rough for our deck because, yeah, don't have, like, removal for it. Um, you know, I need to win with, like, the Bolas and Angrath quickly. And we are so close there. They hit that Harpooner off the top. Like, their last card there with the Frenzy, and then they drew another one as well. Alright, I like Soot. And I like Bedevil. But we need to find... We need to find ways to win, too. So I'm going to ship the Bedevil. What? Our opponent kept Mountain? They kept just basic Mountain? Yeah, I still have Dog. Yep. Puppy's in the other room. Wow. Negate comes in the same time as Thief of Sanity against uh, Reclamation and Control Decks. Hey, what's up, Horatio? Maybe something was burning in the kitchen? Yeah, maybe. That was a pretty quick win condition. That's true.
<laughs> yeah, Puppy's not on the, the stream too much. I, I have two dogs, Puppy and Harvey. Um, Harvey's bigger. Uh, doesn't move as well. Luca! Thanks for that Twitch Prime sub, Luca. Sorry about that game in San Antonio the other day. That was pretty rough. Or I guess it was in Dallas, but against San Antonio. That was a rough game. But at least Jalen Brunson looked really nice. Please, let this work. Dilt. them to spend their mana on their turn. Alright, draw another removal spell. Ugh. Nine lands. I mean, I did keep a 5-lander with the Discovery. Alright, Cry the Carnarium's not any good. So, if we're bringing in all these dresses and the gates, we're cutting... Uh, bringing all these dresses and the gates, bringing, uh, cut the dresses and Discoveries, and that's my sideboard plan here. Dress and the gate in... Discovery campaign out. Call it a day. What if they had all lands too? Well, and then they defeat us. Still had the 2 2. Alright, this is definitely a keepable hand. Yeah, four mana is a lot, but it's also an instant speed removal spell. The games go long with my deck. Four mana is okay. The games go longer. Um, having a removal spell to play on their turn, so that you can like you can like contempt on their turn and make them use use counter magic, so then you can untap and you know ritual of such or bolus or whatever, is worthwhile. Yeah, Thief of Sandy is optional against the deck. I've found that I don't like it too much. Uh, times I've played it, it like usually gets just, like brick walled by um, Terramander and the other big one. Um, usually gets kind of brick walled by like their their flyers and. I don't know, it's it's real awkward with my ritual of set that I'm trying to get to resolve. Hmm. Well then. They really should not play this Tempest Gen. Dang, they didn't. No, not you. You. Alright, so if they have Spell Pierce, we get to play around Spell Pierce with Ritual of Soot. Kablooey. Kablooey. It's always a really good so sound to hear. Yuck. 
I wanted to hit him for four, then flip the bolus. I probably should have just played my land and just flipped bolus to play around that trickster. I probably should have just flipped bolus and not dealt the four. But no biggie. Hey, Mad King. Yeah, you're done. You had your whole uh, eight-hour workday, and now you're eating some shrimp. Yep, we're still here streaming. This is. I think this is probably our last deck of the night. Uh, which is why I took out the the zombies. We'll play zombies tomorrow. I don't. I don't know. Like, so if our opponent they had three lands, like let's say their hand was three land, Terramander, Trickster, Tempest Gin, Dive Down. That doesn't sound so bad. Doesn't mean that, that that's what their hand was. I guess it probably wasn't Terramander because they played that later. So it's probably th four lands and then the other cards. Well, Ritual of Soot's like... Ritual of Soot, this is our very best card in the matchup. This card resolves. We usually win. The problem is, is... You know, we just have only lands in that. We would keep and try to draw into Duress, Negate, all that kind of stuff. We can also ship it. It's probably smart to ship it. Yeah, I'm going to mulligan. <laughs> Going to IHOP, stop by tomorrow. Thanks, Jeff. And Destin Sword is our 15th sub of the day. We got a brand new sub. Welcome to the channel, Destin. Enjoy all the awesome emotes. And thank you very much. Sub number 15 on the day. All right, hoping they do not have land. Or if they have land, they don't have protection. One or the other. All right, no land. November. Good, get that out of here. So they, so that was the good news. The bad news is now they still have five spells in hand and potentially six spells. Like, that's a lot of spells to have in hand still. <clears throat> I'm not going to just throw the Thought Erasure out here right now. So they have all these spells in hand. They're going to have to start playing things. Because if they don't play things, then they have to move to discard soon. And now I don't need to even worry about them countering my Nicol Bolas. So now they just have the one mana. Ah, see they had Disdainful Stroke up last turn. Attack. It's a weird block. It's a weird block. The good thing that Thought Erasure does there, even though it gets countered, it does mean they don't flash in a trickster. <clears throat> so instant speed removal. Sure, it gets spell pierced, but it taps them out. All 
All right, Tempest Jin down. Hey, DMAC. Still going strong. So I could minus. I could try to minus three again. Um, <clears throat> but I want to coral. I want to see if I could find duress or negate, or thought erasure, anything like that, uh, to be able to protect a coil. Because if I just minus three the bolus there, if they like dive down, you know, then it's real bad for me. My knowledge is endless. Yeah, that's good. Yeah, this game is over. Nickel Bolas took over. <laughs> Your crew for my like fish. it does. <laughs> A fair price. Yeah, there's that was last game with it. Or I think we I think we scried an Angrath to the bottom maybe after like a mulligan. Yeah, we we scried Angrath to the bottom. It wasn't in the graveyard. All right, two and zero. Yeah, overall, I, I like our mono blue matchup. That's a matchup I win quite a bit. I, I like our mono blue matchup. We took zero damage there. <laughs> Flawless victory. All right, we got the table smasher. Smashing tables. Guild gate. All right, Azorius mid-range, almost ready to go. Wait. Wait, what's our opponent doing anyway? Hmm. I think this is maybe just like Simic Reclamation. Yeah. That was a good discovery because I didn't want either of those other cards. I want to find like Angrath. That's really rude. That went from me having a two for one to the opponent having a two for one. I could have played a land to play around Spell Pierce, I suppose. I don't know if I should be keeping this coil. I basically have this coil for this Mystic. I don't know if I need to keep this. I shouldn't be keeping that coil. We need to find something better than that. I should not be keeping this coil. That was a quick keep on my part. Soot does cover, Soot does kill the Krasis, but it also draws them a good amount of cards. I don't think we can beat two chemistry's insights. I, I should have got rid of this.
Well, we'll try to sit away the Hydroid Crisis. I wish Chemister's Insight, like, if Wilderness Reclamation needs to stay, I wish Chemister's Insight was rotating. Those two cards together are just pretty insane. Yeah, at least that's Kanta's leaving, I suppose. Yeah, okay, so when Hydroid Crisis is... When it's in your hand, it has the CMC of two. When it's in the library, in the graveyard, on the battlefield. When it's anywhere... Anywhere at all, it has CMC of 2, except for when it's being cast. When it's being cast, you're spending the X amount of mana. You know, like they, they spent 8 mana, so it had a CMC of 8 on the stack. So it can be disdainful stroked, because on the stack it has CMC 8. Anywhere else, it has just CMC of 2. Certainly going to be tougher. Like, Frilled Mystic is tough. I'm not really having things for Frilled Mystic. That's going to be tougher. I'm playing a bunch of Frilled Mystics. I don't, I don't know about this Rao. Should I play Ral or another, like, Bedevil? I guess Bedevil's better than Contempt. Second Bedevil or Ral? How many instant sorceries do I have here? 8, 12, 16, 17? Just 17? Hmm. I'll go second Bedevil. Yeah, rota ro rotation happens every single year. At like the end of September, every year there's rotation. So it keeps, keeps standard fresh. Not the best of hands, but not the worst. Thought Erasure is really good. Certainly not cutting Bolas. Bolas is a way that we can win the game. Bolas is just kind of too good to ever cut. I don't cut Bolas in any matchup at all. Yeah, there's no matchup, so I'd want to cut Bolas. Start getting on this campaign trail.
I don't have enough cards. I want to find threats. That'll eat sabotage. Hope they don't have Wilderness Reclamation right here. Well, that's not ideal. That was not ideal. Thraxel Wolf with that sub there for the third month. I should have played my land first. I forgot they had the mana there. Thank you, Thraxel Wolf. I want them to draw land. Draw land here. Come on, draw land. Nice. So number 16 on the day. Alright, get that reclamation out of here. They kept their card on top. Crisis. Alright, so we're going to have Bolus discard this card, and then I'm going to keep Negate available. What do I want to do with you, Bolus? Oh, fun concede. All right. We gotta probably flip Bolus and probably just tick up and just draw more cards. I don't think I would need to minus uh, to kill the Krasis. I think the Krasis could, you know, hit the Bolus for two, like, you know, kind of whatever. When Bolus's tick up is plus two. I think I'd want to just pay the seven and start divinationing every turn. I don't love the two discoveries here. They're kind of slow. I'd rather that be like, you know, duress negate kind of stuff. So if I take the Sabotage, wait, do they have two blue? They do not. All right, let's take Reclamation and hope they don't draw another blue source and we get to draw and we get to slam Thief of Sanity. Okay, good. Shuffle that back. Nice. Go Thief, go. No, I don't know what Bolus is in Spanish. No. So one problem is Thief does fill their graveyard for Ascanta. Are you kidding me? Rude. Right, since it's shuffled, I guess their hand is not revealed anymore. Wow. And Grath is great. Got no fire, no steel. So we know they have a Sinister Sabotage. We know that's one of their cards.
No fire, no steel. No fire, no steel. Hmm. I think I want to upkeep. They get the Ascanta trigger, though. I'm just going to dispersal this thing. Our deck is, like, a lot of games that we play, our, our opponents have, like, very, very little resources. That's what our deck does. No fire, no steel. <laughs> All right, the Escant is gone. He says the Grixis can't deal with enchantments, huh? Everybody's like, but Grixis can't deal with enchantments. Sure can. Uh, unfortunately, we didn't get our thief value of our thief fill in their graveyard for our Angrath ultimate. Yeah, it'll be the fourth dispersal because we already we already surveilled one dispersal over, so we have one more dispersal. Hey, it's Dem demystify plus. Make them discard. All right, guys. It is demystify when there's no no cards in hand. But yeah, it looks like salty opponent roping. All right, good. Maybe they're just trying to think if they had like a, a reason to keep playing. Ah, uh, hey, Table Smasher. GG. Yeah, this, the three lands is definitely really rough. Your deck's just built around spending tons and tons and tons of mana. And you need more than three lands for that. Yeah, so he's typing in chat. This is not, my deck is not a very fun deck to play against. You know, like the deck's built around making the opponent discard a bunch of cards. It is not a very fun deck to play against. So we want our discovery to find a card advantage engine. Uh, basically anything like campaign, bolus, or angrath. Gonna be looking for one of those. Well, I mean, Ritual is just going to be great in this matchup, but... So I guess I'll keep those. I've, I've never played this deck in best of one. I just... I don't play very much best of one. Those are cards that we want also. Dad out of here. Yeah, Bolas is balls in Spanish. Good. Like them playing that other growth chamber guardian. Um, I do want this fifth land for and Grath, but we're probably going to be able to find another land. So let's just ditch it and like you know, by next turn, you know, we get to see we see one more card plus the next card plus if that's not a land plus the card after that, you know, like we see three more cards 
They're 26 land deck. Probably one of those is a land. What? Vinemare? Okay, well, I, I can't be Vinemare. I honestly just cannot be Vinemare at all. Yeah, I, I have nothing for Vinemare. I have actu actual nothing. Just main deck Vine Mare. You can't block with Bolas. Can't be blocked by black creatures. I can't even block with Bolas. I have, I have just actual nothing. Dispersal? I suppose. Yeah, I suppose dispersal. I've already used two Here, discoveries. Your crew for my freedom? <laughs> A fair price. Yeah, Vimeir is way too good. Yeah, Bolas reanimating the chump blocker is the realistic thing that I was thinking could happen. No fire, no steel. Main deck Vine Mare. Not beating that card. I'm not beating Vine Mare. Ral does nothing against Vine Mare. I have to just thought erasure it. Yes, it has yes, it has regular hex proof. <clears throat> and I'm not playing Eldest Reborn or nothing like that. My opponent is playing the anti. Anti Grixis discard card. All right, this is a good hand getting as cancer down right away. I like this hand. Yeah, I've played a Mardu control deck. It's. It's been a while since I have. Um, but yeah, I've played Mardu Control. Um, I liked our Mardu Control deck too. It was kind of built around... Um, hey, Perry Denied. Thanks for re in there. It was built around the enchantment. I am blanking on the name though. The new Theater Fours is built around Theater Fours and generating card advantage with that. And Perry says, thanks for all the games and deck ideas. Oh, you're welcome. You just don't need to play cards to try to beat Vine Mare. Like, you don't need to play random cards in your sideboard to try to beat Vine Mare. Just nobody plays Vine Mare. If people did start playing Vine Mare, you know, you can adapt. You can have Star of Extinction or Eldest Reborn. Things like that.
This is a good attack. Deal four to them and I'm, I'm not winning. Yeah, my plan is was just to have my opponent not draw Vine Mare. That was my biggest plan. They drew Vine Mare though. That plan didn't work. No fire, no steel. That was my whole idea. Is, have you like that's basically my best game plan is just try to dodge, try to dodge them drawing vine mirrors. I have, I have nothing in my deck. I mean, dispersal, but I'm we're already dead. Even if I activate... We had to draw, like, dispersal that game. Or, like, that turn. If I just... If I try to activate as Kanta to look for dispersal, I don't have the mana to be able to activate and cast dispersal, so we'd have to wait till next turn. And by that time, I'm... By that turn, I'm already dead. Those things are already killing me. No, Eldritch Reborns in the sideboard are not good. Yes, they would have been good specifically in that really weird corner case that hasn't come up like ever before. But no, I don't want Eldritch Reborns against any other deck besides a random Vine Mare deck. I'd really just be playing um, Star of Extinction in that kind of matchup. Like if, if that became a popular deck for some reason, I'd just same thing with whenever Carnage Tyrant was popular. Just be playing Star of Extinctions in the sideboard. If they have Spell Pierce for Search for Escanta, this is really bad. It's just so much more likely they just shocked for Opt. Yeah, I don't know any other decks. Vine Mare is awesome against Grixis. I don't know any other decks where it's very good. Like, Esper's just playing Kaya's Wrath. Um, it's not good against Sultai at all, because Sultai just blocks with Merfolk Branchwalker. You really don't want it there. Arclight Phoenix can be kind of tough. It's our opponent's playing Phoenix. I really like our Drake matchup. The Phoenix matchup can be a little tough because those, those things are can be difficult. Um, if you if you are playing the Unmoored Ego in the sideboard, this is a matchup for Unmoored Ego to name Arclight Phoenix. Um, other time, other things you can also name are like you know getting rid of. There at times like you just want to get rid of Niv Mizzet with. that how are we doing over here we're at four all right i'll just keep this on top of the library i, I do want to play angrath next turn hexproof creatures that don't die to ritual of set are good yes there's not many hexproof creatures that don't die to ritual of set i mean there's there's like carnage tyrant and vine mare um but it's it's hexproof and, and unblockable. So it's and ritual set doesn't kill it either. Yeah, Phoenix is tough. When you're playing a bunch of you know, disinformation campaign, Nickel Bolas, Angrath. Phoenix is very good against all those cards.
You're just fuel for the fires of freedom. I'm hoping they just have like a good amount of lands in hand and can't get these phoenixes out. And I'm just going to be trying to attack their hand. Could, of course, take the Electromancer, but I think at this point, even if I stole the Electromancer with them being able to play like a fifth land, I think they're going to just be able to have enough spells or enough mana anyway to get the Phoenixes back. Dang. Third Phoenix? Three Phoenixes and 20 cards? So yeah, I, I didn't think mana was really a bottleneck. I thought cards could be. Shiver my horns and hammer. Our opponent was still getting these Electromancers out. If I would have killed the Electromancer, they still they would have just spent these two mana. They still would have just got the Phoenixes. Make all sail for high and dry. The third phoenix is trouble. I have to go graveyard so I can flip this so I can have enough mana. The third phoenix is certainly trouble because I, I had two exile removal spells for two phoenixes in the graveyard. But that third one... But of course, just them not having that 2-2, you know, minus the Angrath. But the problem with minusing the Angrath also is, you know, the Angrath dies the shock immediately. Minusing the Angrath. Blah. Why'd they have to have the third Phoenix that turn? That's reasonable. Ooh, a battle. I'm all tingly. <laughs> Time to choose. Oh, it's so exciting. I think I need to find Coil. Bleh. Alright, Cry of the Carnarium's coming on in. Um, I'm going to take out the Soots. And... Play some more Duresses. Yeah, I guess we could have looked at their hand with Thought Erasure. Um, yeah, I guess we could have done that. I don't, I don't know if that will really help, but yeah. Maybe they had something really weird. You never know. No, I don't really want Thief of Sanity. Like, they're just going to have all their shocks, and... and like, I have to, like, try to protect Thief, and... You know, Thief's not attacking through a Drake or a Phoenix ever. It's just kind of a, a big hassle. No, I don't really have any routine uh, whenever, like, getting tilted. Um, no, I'm just a pretty positive person overall, and I don't, I don't think that tilt is a very useful emotion, and just, you know, over time have been pretty good at staying away from it. I just move on.
certainly has been uh, some disappointing games here. So ditching that land because it's not blue mana. some useful spells. These two two matches have not gone our way, but that's how magic is sometimes. What are my favorite meta decks? I don't I don't really play any of the meta decks. I don't really have a favorite. Um, Coil's awesome. Coil's good to keep for Phoenix. Bedevil's good to keep for Angrath. I'll play Bedevil. You know, Phoenix is just a whole lot more likely than than uh, Rao. I, I think I said Angrath. I meant Rao. The more I play Arena, the less I'm tilted by defeat. I used to be very tilted when playing Mono Red. Yeah, you just kind of get used to it. Like, you just kind of see everything, and you're going to lose a lot playing Magic. You know, like these last two matches, like, there's a lot of variance in Magic, and sometimes you just mold a five, and, and you lose, and hey, at least they didn't discard a Phoenix there. That's good. Judith Priest, yeah, we got to get back to that deck. That's a good one. Alright, so let's start with... Yeah, let's start with Thought Erasure. See what they got going on over here. See if they have any Lava Coils up in there. Crackling Drake, Disdainful Stroke. So Disdainful Stroke, Crackling Drake are the two cards I like the least. Really don't like either of those cards. I like that one. That's a good card. We'll see if they spell pierce this. Alright. Got that thing out of their hand. And now Duress can take Disdainful Stroke. Campaign makes them discard something else. I could just campaign first. Yeah, I think I like campaigning first before my... Well, no, it just doesn't matter. They played the land. This is what our <clears throat> good part about our dress just usually clears up the way for our other things. And here we go. Hopefully they draw a land. Not a radical idea. That's a good draw getting to go through so much of the deck. That was a great draw. They got a, a free Arclight Phoenix plus a random card. 
Oh, it's just two cards. Wow. It's pretty strong. If one of these two cards is disdainful stroke. <laughs> oh, what a night. So, Coil's just going to be more reliable here uh, for resolving than Angrath's going to be, so let's go with this Coil. It is kind of awkward how like we're just never like really double-spelling with the, the Angrath. Take an Electromancer. <laughs> your crew for my freedom? <laughs> a fair price. Hopefully their last two cards are just, like, lands. Could be, like, a Lava Coil in a land. Yeah, they're just chilling with a bunch of lands over there. No can be fire, bad. no steel. Go, Angrath, go. All right, Zerf. Thanks for being here for the entire stream. All right, so might as well make, might as well have uh, Angrath tick up and discard this last card before no casting fire, the devil. No fire, no steel. That was a coil. Um, yeah, let's kill this. Please don't do anything crazy again, opponent. Thank you. No fire, no steel. I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I have nine instants and sorceries in the graveyard, so if they play a Crackling Drake, I do get to steal Crackling Drake with Angrath and kill them. Uh-oh. That was the... Biggest card I did not want to see. Ooh, a battle. I'm all tingly. Ooh, let's see what we got. No fire, no steel. All right, Contempt was a great draw for us. Awesome top deck. They do have a Phoenix now in the yard, though, because of the Rao. And that should be their only one in the yard. Yeah, that's their their one in the yard. All right, and they just explored two cards, or surveilled two cards over. All right, we're going to game three. Even after mulling to five. Your crew for my freedom. <laughs> Even after mulling to five, we're going to game three. Angrath's so good. Angrath is so, so good. No, no changes to the Huali deck. No, no changes. Oh, you have zero bolus? Yeah, you can't really play this deck with zero bolus. Bolus is pretty vital. By pretty vital, I mean it's... Yeah, incredibly vital. You really can't play without Bolas. This is a Bolas deck.
We do have an awkward hand with all tap lands. I always want to build this deck, but clutch my wild cards tight. That's absolutely understandable. Clutching the wild cards tight. So... Alright, so I'm going to go with the Arch of Araska, even though it's it's pretty risky, but I think Discovery could find a ta an untapped land. Nope. No untapped land, but both these cards are really good. Well, that's a stretch. The, the whole really good part is, is a little bit of a stretch. For a disinformation campaign. Lava Coil is really good. I don't think you can ever get rid of Lava Coil in this matchup. You need all your Lava Coils. We're going to be real far behind here, though. Just time walk turn three. Man, I really want to save coils for Phoenix. That Arch of Araska play has just really ended up hurting us. It's really ended up hurting us. Alright, well now I have the Devil for that thing. Or I could just campaign plus Thought Erasure. And wait till next turn. Seen them have Spell Pierce? Do I care if campaign gets Spell Pierced? Not really. That resolved pretty quickly. So do they have any phoenixes in their hand? Please no. No phoenix, no phoenix. Hooray, no phoenix. Negate, negate. Disdainful Stroke, Charter Course. So much for the I think I can wait a turn theory. Negate, negate. The heck is that? Well, I guess I take Disdainful Stroke and resolve Nicol Bolas next turn. Yeah, I guess I really did need to bedevil that thing. <clears throat> I think our opponent should be attacking first and then charter coursing the second main. So their charter course hit double opt, which hit another opt. Just cry to the bottom. So that's three ops. As you can tell, led with the Ascanta, because with that resolving, then we get to play Nicol Bolas. If, if they negate Ascanta, then I bedevil Crackling Drake.
And unfortunately, I just have to trade. Um, I would... I would, I would prefer my opponent not to attack and I get to flip the bolus and kill their crackling drake. But we just have to trade. Hmm. We know that's going to eat in the gate. All right, when to gate down. Other negate down. Spell Pierce? That's kind of gross. Well, hopefully they do not Show get a land. And I get to Bedevil. Hmm. Decisions, decisions. Please no land. Ooh, they ditched a land. Pass. 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 No! Eight. So one, two, three, four, five, one, two. So if we hit a land here. So that gets negated, and then we'll dispersal it. All right, Rel's gone, but I got nothing but an Angrath and an Ascanta, and I don't know what I kind of idea they have, but it's pretty radical. Bad news is, you know, we had to get rid of another Lava Coil there. We've gotten rid of a lot of Exile removal, which is bad against the Phoenix deck for me. So I'm in a little bit of a rough spot in that scenario. Um... They haven't had any phoenixes yet. So one more land and we get to Azkanta plus Angrath. So they please don't draw a one mana spell or a two mana spell, I guess. Either one with Electromancer. Hooray, no spell. No like one or two mana spell. So that could certainly be like another crackling drake or something. So let's play the Angrath. Well, I guess we have this Thought Erasure. I was gonna play Angrath and tick up, but then I realized we have this thing that's chilling here. Alright, so it's just a land. I'm gonna Angrath minus. You're just Definitely glad those radical ideas are all gone. Radical ideas, they're easiest way to get 
Um, to get the Phoenix back, so they've gone through three radical ideas. They've gone through three ops. They've gone through a lot. I could see that no card fire. being Lava Coil. No if they're keeping it like that, I could definitely see that card being Lava Coil. They just got... Yeah, hey, look at that. The auto tap... Oh, it's another land. Auto tap didn't use the Ascanta. I noticed that whenever I was casting it, because I thought I was going to have to auto tap. We got there! Woo! Even after losing game one and then bullying to five game two. City's blessing. All right, four and one. We have last match for the 12 hour stream here. It is a final boss, boss fight. Here you go. Start getting those final boss emotes out there. Let's go. Here we go. Let's end this on a win. Very nice starting hand. Opponent has five cards. Sorry, opponent. You don't want to have five cards against us. You really don't. So I built... Is it Auras with Champion of the Flame, Val Duke, etc. And have gone 12-0? That is pretty awesome. I'm going to take the Carnage. I don't want them to Carnage and make me discard too. Alright, they're all in on these Chain Whirlers. They could have, like, Bedevil here. Yeah, whatever. I think that's okay. No fire, no steel. No fire, no steel. Let's get some more land drops. Those are land drops. I want this one first. Okay, Remodi cycle. Treasure map. All right. Is Remodi even scary? I'll just take it because I'm, I'm planning on flipping Bolas here. <laughs> A fair price. I mean, do I even need to flip Bolas? I mean, it's the best play. Yeah, Angrath is awesome in this deck. I always have an And Angrath's just really good in this meta game, especially with like Krasis being such a big part of it and everything.
But yeah, you're right. Yeah, Angrath is quite quite good. Yeah, I'm not gonna bother restarting the client with it being the late game with with it being the last game. All right, just treating this like basically like Sultai. Uh, I'm just gonna take out the dress and have a, another planeswalker for late game stuff. Cry the Carnarium is good against uh, their five mana go goblin siege game commander. That's alright. Well, our opponent was on a mulligan to five. But it was kind of like the cards in their deck. You know, turn three, chain whirler, turn four, chain whirler. But they were on a mold to five. Our deck does a really good job of... Especially disinformation campaign. Does a... Gr campaign does a really good job of like reducing opponents overall resources even if they're lands even if it's just making them discard lands and everything um, and then increasing our resources like helping us hit land drops while hurting like making it hard for the opponent to hit land drops kind of thing all right we are on the six card hand this time Uh, the modern Bant list, I think I played it in Baltimore, I think. So you could look, just Google search, Bant mid, modern Bant midrange, Todd Stevens, maybe SCG Baltimore, is either Baltimore or, in, or Indianapolis, it was one of those two cities, I don't remember. Contempt is good, but I want to find Ascanta, Campaign, Angrath, anything like that. But I, I don't really play Modern anymore, so it's not like I don't like have an updated deck list or anything like that for that deck. So I want to save Coil in case Phoenix. With them not upkeep scrying. It's probably like a siege game commander. Which means that ritual of set was bad. I don't think I need to dispersal that treasure map. I think I need to find my own card advantage engine. We we're digging pretty good there. Hey, thank you so much, Doctor. Doctor Colta. Thanks for following the YouTube channel there. Yeah, we're getting pretty close to the 2,000 followers over on YouTube, which will be another 12-hour stream goal. I'm going to have to start getting used to doing these 12-hour streams, seems like. Never's no fire, no steel. I guess I'll take Bolas. You know, Bolas will just kind of be a... Mind rot. <clears throat> Discard this other card, they coil bolus. 
Ooh, got rid of a Siege King commander. That's a good bolus. Yeah, there Angrath's gonna mess us up. No fire, no steel. Can't be too mad at it. Mess a lot of people up with the Angrats in my day. And then the, now they have the Phoenix. I don't have the coil anymore. I know all about that life. All right, we're going to be back on the play. Hopefully we don't mold a six and have a bunch of lands. Um, I, mean, I could play Thief, but I don't think I want to. Ritual of Soot actually probably isn't really that good. The, the problem without, if we're not playing Ritual of Soot though, uh, the uh, Siege King Commander really can be a problem. Without any sets. Maybe we don't need four, though. What if we played two? Let's try that. All right, game three. Let's go. The five win dream is still alive. Gotta win this game, though. Clutch game. It's a good start. I like seeing these two together. Treasure map gets him a lot of cards later. It takes a while. I'm going to get rid of the Phoenix. <laughs> it is certainly a little laggy here. So they didn't even shock in to play the treasure map. It's a little odd. Yeah, so I've had these four of my final boss songs. If you if y'all have any other suggestions. But yeah, this this one's perfect. I love this one. This is my second favorite after the one I always start with. The Rocky theme here. Yeah, final countdown. Are people kind of beaten by that song? Not you, you. All right, keeping both these lands in my hand to be able to discard to a carnage. If they go, you know, if they go discard to, I'm gonna discard the two lands. Did not have to discard two. Thing is, like Spotify doesn't have like a whole lot of those themes and stuff. But I'll I'll look. So Megas theme from Chrono Trigger. All right, Angrath coming down. Back to the regular playlist. <laughs> Please run. A chase stokes the forge. No fire, no steel. Um, attack.
So original Zelda. Just, I mean, what do I, just look for the original Zelda theme. Fire, no steel. That's gonna be a 5-1, boys and girls. Let's get this Angrath in here. Finish it off. Ever seen water burn? You no fire, no steel. Alright. It was looking looking pretty bad for us there for a little while earlier in the league. But Grixis discard continues to. Whoa, double mythic. Continues to provide. Continues to put up results. That's a double mythic. Look up in the sky. It's a double mythic. All right, great way to end the 12-hour stream today on this Thursday. Oop, that's Grixis Control. Wrong deck. There we go, Grixis Discard. Cool. So thanks, Matt. I'll check that out. All right, so Grixis Discard, still good. Still nothing really to, to, to change, I don't think. Um, yeah, I think not much to say really. Uh, it's just a it's a really really solid deck. Um, it is for sure. So there we go. So if you're watching the video later on on YouTube, don't forget to hit that subscribe button over there. If you're here in chat. Uh, you can check out the YouTube channel. If you miss any of the replays, they're all already up there. Like every other deck besides Grixis Discards are already up there. Any of the other days, if you want to see more of this deck, you can go see some of the other replays. Lots of five wins uh, with Grixis Discard. If you want to check that out, um, this is a it has really fun games. A lot of time, like that's the thing about this deck. I, a lot of the games are just they're fun to play. Um, a lot of late games with like Nickel Bolas and stuff. That yeah, so missed any of those other ones you can feel free to check them out on the youtube channel there youtube.com slash todd stevens mtg um but yeah thanks thanks everybody we'll be back saturday for some more uh you know uh saturday for another 12 hour stream be back tomorrow 3 to 10 my normal stream time is 3 to 10 eastern uh each and every day i'll be back again tomorrow but saturday we're doing another 12 hour stream because of crimson coven and gatsby with all those bits as you can see here, they went with that bit war yesterday. Uh, so we're doing another 12-hour stream to celebrate that tomorrow. And then we're getting towards other 12-hour stream goals. We, you know, we're getting getting close around, you know, 100-ish away from the the 2,000 YouTube followers. Uh, if we have five more people sign up for Quip, get a brand new toothbrush there, we'll be doing a 12-hour stream. This 12-hour stream here was to celebrate getting uh, 10 people to sign up for Quip. And we already we're already at 15. So we're almost there too. Uh, you know, we could be doing what these, you know, maybe once a week or so if we get these. Uh, Movement uh, is, you know, a company that makes watches and sunglasses. I know that one's going to be a little slower because that's a little bit more expensive. I understand that. But if you do sign up for Quip or Movement with my referral links, which you can find down uh, below in the info panels here if you're here in chat or if you're watching on YouTube, I have these the referral links in the description of the YouTube channel also. Um, if you sign up for either of those, you get a free donation deck, uh, movement, you get 15% off your purchase also with the coupon code Todd Stevens MTG. And then Harry's is really cheap. Harry's one, um, I'm giving you $10 off a donation deck. So instead of only $20, it's only $10 for a donation deck. But if you need a razor, it's only $3, $3 gets you a nice razor. I've been using this same razor handle for years now, uh, but it gives you gives you the razor handle that you can just you know keep on getting new razor heads for. 
gets you the handle, the like their nice German engineering razor head, and uh, a thing of shaving cream. All that's it's only three bucks. Free free shipping to U.S., Canada, U.K. It's three bucks. How how it is? It's usually thirteen dollars if you sign up for um, their subscription you get $5 off. So that turns it to $8. You can cancel any time if you don't, you know, before the subs- subscription sen- sends to you, if you don't want to keep it going, you can cancel the subscription. And then if you use my referral link and coupon code Todd Stevens MTG, then you get another $5 off and it only turns into just three bucks after that. So three bucks, get yourself a nice, good quality razor and everything there. All right, so that's it. So thanks everybody. Um, that's it for the 12 hour stream. If you're watching this again on YouTube, thank you so much for watching over there and I'll see you for the next video.